folks, today I'm here to unbox and share my first impressions of the newly launched Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro. This phone boasts flagship camera optics from Leica, just like their top-tier cameras. Not only that, it also comes with the latest flagship processor, ensuring powerful performance. The build quality feels solid, and overall, I'm excited to dive into what this phone has to offer. Let's check it out. Hey guys Mikey from Tech Makey, please consider the subscribing and turning on the notifications by hitting that bell icon for more amazing tech videos, let's now get to the unboxing. So here we have the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro in a white colored box. The word, Civi, is boldly mentioned on the top of the box. Inside, you'll find a 67 watt power adapter with a Type A output, a good quality transparent case, along with a data cable and a user manual. Now, let's talk about the design. Just like its predecessor, the Xiaomi Civi phone, this one is also thin and lightweight. It weighs around 179 grams and has a thickness of 7, 45 millimeters. The Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro feels really nice in hand. Compared to the iPhone 14 Pro, it's much lighter and not as wide, so you'll get a good grip when holding it. You can easily operate it with just one hand. There are several improvements that enhance the feel of the phone. It has rounded our angles, curved edges, and even a micro-curved front, making it feel even better in your hand. The Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro features an interesting design, especially on the back panel where it combines two materials in a dual-tone finish. There's glass on one side and plain leather on the other, creating a signature look for the Civi series. The left panel has glass with all paint-like textures, while the right side features leather material. Overall, the phone looks stunning with this design. Now, let's talk about the camera because this time it comes with flagship Laker optimization. Talking about the camera hardware, the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro comes with a rear-facing triple camera setup. The main camera is a 50-megapixel shooter with a 1.55-inch sensor size, making it the largest aperture camera in the Civi series so far. There's also a secondary 50-megapixel Leica professional portrait lens and a third 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. On the front, there's a dual camera setup with a 32-megapixel main sensor and 23-megapixel ultra-wide lens. The selfie camera also supports autofocus, which is a nice addition. The camera setup in this phone is truly flagship level. It delivers stunning portrait photos that look incredibly realistic, with excellent textures and details. Plus, with Leica optimization on board, you can even turn on Leica watermark. You get support for Leica Classic and Leica Vivid styles, each with its own distinct characteristics. The Classic style is easily recognizable with its high contrast between light and dark areas, while the Vivid style gives you more saturated colors. Just like the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro also features the Master Portrait Mode, which is essentially the Leica Portrait feature. However, customizing Leica portrait settings can be a bit tricky, as it tends to enhance contrast quite significantly. This makes it more suitable for dramatic expressions or humanistic documentary styles. Here, you can see that Leica's portrait mode gives a more pleasing effect, with colors appearing more accurate and comfortable in the photos. You can explore various focal lengths with the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro, both on the front and back cameras. On the rear camera, there are four focal length options available. You can capture photos from a distance in all focal lengths. For close-up shots, you can use the 100mm focal length, which is essentially 4x zoom. However, the image quality may be average even in good lighting conditions with digital zoom. But at 50mm, the photos turn out great, closely resembling what you see with your own eyes. When it comes to the front camera, the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro offers a composition portrait mode similar to the rear camera. If you're in a group, you can use both the wide-angle and 50mm options for selfies, giving you plenty of choices. Plus, the front camera also has autofocus, which works very quickly and accurately. Additionally, there are numerous filters available for selfies. Overall, the camera setup in the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro works like that of a flagship phone, offering a great photography experience. Let's talk about the performance of the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro. It's the world's first phone to feature the Snapdragon 8's Gen 3 processor, which was just launched a few days ago. In daily use, you get smooth performance, and even when playing games like King of Glory at the highest settings, you can achieve an average frame rate of up to 120.1 frames per second with power consumption at 3.8 watts despite being thin and light, the performance is impressive. As for the battery, the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro packs a 4700mAh battery, ensuring long-lasting power. Let's discuss the battery performance of the Xiaomi Civi 4 Pro. After a 3-hour endurance test, 
the phone still retains around 40% of its battery. It supports 67 watt charging, and it takes approximately 44 minutes to charge the battery from 1% to 100%. Now, moving on to the display, the Xiaomi CV4 Pro features the same display material used in Xiaomi's flagship series 14. It utilizes C8 luminescent material. The display measures 6.55 inches and boasts an AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1.5K. The global default maximum brightness reaches up to 560 nits. In HDR photos, the brightness can reach up to 1200 nits, and you'll notice that the colors on the display are quite accurate. Now, talking about the price of the Xiaomi CV4 Pro, the base variant starts at around 2,999 Chinese Yuan in China. In conclusion, compared to the previous generation, the Xiaomi CV4 Pro offers several significant changes. The upgrade in Leica's decentralized hardware results in a more powerful camera, which in turn improves performance and battery life. Overall, the enhancements make the Xiaomi CV4 Pro a notable upgrade from its predecessor. So what you guys think about it? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below if you have any questions. Also give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos, well as me signing off thanks for watching. Have a great day and keep smiling, and I will see you in the next one.